there it is. Three, two, one, and pills. I, I was just trying to predict an, an upset win by you getting all of them this round, Floyd. That's what I was doing. All right. And uh, really like this board for Floyd to start off with. Adelito's got a solid one as well. I'm just saying uh, the ability to take a triple early on and looks like it is just going to be a double. However, uh, that top line, just getting it knocked down that easily, that quickly. I mean, this is a really nice looking board and Floyd takes it to a two virus lead here early in level eight. Again, we are playing levels eight through 11 uh, as opposed to level six through nine that you saw in round one. Yeah, I've really liked Floyd's board because he's had so many locations where you've had two uh, viruses of the same color, either horizontally or vertically. Well, Adelito's had a few of those as well, not to the sheer number that Floyd had. And that's the reason why you see that he's got a nine virus lead right now. You got to imagine, yeah, that taking that, that pair of yellows horizontally was definitely in the board or on the boards there for Floyd as uh, he just has everything set up and that was really nice for him another blue and two yellows exactly what he's going to get and wow at a minute 12 floyd is out of level eight that is a blazing hot time and i didn't you don't realize just how fast it is till you look over at where adelito is on his board and saw that he was seven or eight viruses still left to go that is a really really high speed coming from floyd I may have offended him by saying that he hadn't gotten a crown yet. Adelito out about 138. That's a good time as well. It is. And then a very even board for the most part uh, for Adelito for color-wise. Most of his reds are in the middle. And there is a slightly higher number of blue than the others, which could be problematic. It's, and really, besides... Uh, the middle of the board is not a lot of really good combo opportunities. He's building down to those real fast. While on Floyd's side, he's only got five viruses left at a red. And there's 21 left in the board. So he's going to have to hope for a lot of yellow and blue to be showing up in order to uh, keep this lead that he has. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty floaty board for Floyd. And you got to wonder, I don't know if he was thinking about taking that blue horizontally or not uh over in column two either way it's going to work out the way it is right now uh going to get a good tuck here and yeah double blues double blues are going to be great for him as all of his garbage was blue all almost all of his viruses were blue uh, this double red is going to be helpful and yeah he is very close to being out of this level nine already i uh, just going to need to not make a mistake and <laughs> it's not going to cost him too much a little bit of drop time and floyd is going to be out at a 258 so again keeping that sub six pace which is what we're looking for uh, you know we uh, you heard jb call it par earlier uh for level six through nine that is what floyd is working on for levels eight through eleven or eight yes eight through eleven i can do math it's okay and uh, that leader is sorry I was just going to say, great combo from Adelito. Go ahead. Yeah, it's going to, Adelito has been really holed up here. He had so many blues he had to work on here that just really slowed down his, uh, his game plan. He's just now getting out of level 9 at a 337, but he is 15 viruses behind, which is not a number we say when it comes to being behind for Adelito very often. Yeah, it's definitely uh, just... Anytime Adelito's playing, it's unexpected to see anybody uh, leading him. And that is that that is really a statement because Floyd is one of the best players in the game. You know, he's won this tournament multiple times. He's, he's a really, really good player. So uh, don't take any surprise on our part as, as an issue with Floyd. This guy is one of the best. It's just always a shock when Adelito is behind. <laughs> Adelito 7 and 8 going left to right were almost the exact same, which made it a little challenging because Adelito likes playing the uh, horizontal game because you can usually clear things out faster that way than vertical, but it was the way that those uh, rows 6 and 7 were. You had to pretty much do it vertically, and it did slow him down a little bit, and Floyd's been able to maintain this lead. It's about a 10-virus lead right now. He's just waiting on blue to really finish up this... Uh, 
this one. He just needs one will do, and he'll be out at a 451 with uh, Adelaide still needing another seven viruses to get through this. This is becoming a pretty much a runaway match the way Floyd's playing this one. Yeah, definitely the clicking you're hearing is me going and checking the hot times because I feel like the way Floyd is playing right now, we're going to be needing that information very shortly as he gets into this 11 and already just, I, I like the board. It's not perfect, but man, okay, it's less perfect now that he's running out of access to yellow, but uh, yeah, Floyd's got a nice board to start off with and a 10 virus lead going into... Uh, going into the mid game of the level and yeah uh, things are looking really solid for him meanwhile Adelito not as much access to red as he would like uh, he does have some it's just kind of not it's awkward it's an awkward access to red I think is the best way to put it and uh, now very limited access to yellow so Ooh. Ooh, that was a little <laughs> frightening I, I, I thought you might have had a top out there for a second I was holding my breath yeah, that's uh, definitely not something you want to do. Although, if you are going to do it this early in the level, is the time to do so. Uh, as Floyd continuing to maintain 11, now 12 virus lead. And uh, yeah, this, it, everything is looking solid for him. Barring a huge mistake, I think we're going to be talking about a Floyd win here and in a really good time. Yeah, I'd... I can see Ali Olosi, he's setting up for uh, something big with those blues there. I don't think he's going to take a drop knot one. He's going to try, probably looking for a double blue in order to take out those remaining uh, blues in row five in order to make a nice uh, combo happen there. But he's just, there's a double blue he wanted. He last second change, he saw it coming in. Got himself set up for another red blue fat log right there. And suddenly he's got the lead here with six viruses to go. Yeah, but Floyd, with his setups, is down to four. Now he just needs a few more reds and a couple more yellows. Uh, we'll see which one's going to get it first. There is a yellow. Floyd needs two more reds. And it's going to be Adelito out first at a 7.14. Coming back and making me eat crow as Floyd out at a 7.18. That was a crazy crazy level 11 for Adelito. Uh, you know, my apologies for doubting him. That was just such speed. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, issue is red at the very end there for uh, Floyd. If he'd gotten that just a little bit quicker, he might have had a tie there. It was so close at the end. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the RNG is that way. But... All we can do is set it back up and go again. So once we get those readies from our players, there's one from Adelito. I'm still trying to catch my breath from that first one. My apologies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was a very, very close one. Yeah, there are so many blinking you might miss it situations there with uh, combos and the near top out and everything else going on that, you know, just trying to, it, it, you and I were calling like every big move we saw and I'm sure we missed at least half a dozen of them. Oh yeah, I'm sure. All right. There's our ready. We got Floyd back on and here we are in three, two, one and pills. An interesting right. board for Adelito to start with. A lot of interesting gaps, including uh, row nine has absolutely no uh, viruses at all. And a few holes that he'll have to be careful of on the way down that could cause some extensive drop time. While Lloyd's got the same, but really only on the left side of his board. Yeah, that starting board for Floyd, it was not particularly pleasant. Uh, you know, luckily for him, it ended up not being really bad. And in fact, these those two double yellows in a row, really nice for him because he was set up for a uh, for the double yellows. And in fact, this these yellow blues also really nice because he is able to take out I uh, was at six, seven yellows with like four pills, 
and uh, that's really what you want to see. Uh, Adelito with about a 10 second uh, board advantage, just you know, based on him starting his uh, starting his round a few seconds before Floyd. So uh, it is a six virus lead from what we can see. However, we're not going to know really where uh, either player is until they both come out of this level. But things are looking really solid for Adelito, uh, getting exactly what he needs to close this out. And he is out at a 123. Meanwhile, looking over at Floyd's side, he is past that time, but uh, not going to be too much past it. Second, he gets a red out at a 133, so about 10 seconds behind here. Interesting setup for Adelito over here on this uh, columns, was that four and five? Gets that horizontal. That ended up being a full on T clear. Uh, that is looking good for him as another interesting setup. I wasn't sure if he was going to go for uh, these reds in the middle of his board as well. Didn't end up doing that and didn't end up being an issue as uh, we see him now down to 16 viruses and Floyd down to 27. Yeah, it's, it, Adelito is really starting to uh, break ahead here in this match. He, in fact, he, though, he has pretty much everything on the left side of his board might slow him down a bit because, well, Floyd has a very compacted bottom three rows with a lot of double opportunities there. Well, you can see it's going to be a little bit more challenging, but still very easily doable for Adelito. Yeah, Floyd having to play a little creatively there, uh, not getting exactly what he needed, knowing that he needs to just go ahead and get things moving. Um these doubles going to be helpful, but you know it's just not ideal board situation for him. As we see Adelito out just north of three minutes, and uh, Floyd going to be pretty close behind him. Going to have to get access to these blues, and I think he's going to get column two vertically and leave himself space for a yellow uh, just as soon as he gets the right pills. That is going to be one of them. And yeah, there's what he's looking for. So now red, yellow, and any red will do the trick. And Floyd out at a 331. Meanwhile, this has given Adelito the opportunity to have a huge 18 virus lead here right now, which no lead is ins insurmountable even against Adelito. We have seen it happen, but Floyd is really going to have to get things going here. And he's not got the best board in the world. It is he has a couple good horizontal opportunities as he moves down some, but he's going to need uh, a lot of RNG help, I think, in order to get it done. Yeah, kind of a staircase going down. Not a, not a full staircase over on that left side of reds, but, you know, the red, the red pills will come. We kind of always guarantee that, especially when you set them up in a cross pattern like that and really make it happen. But, uh, yeah... It, if if red's the color that I've seen in the numbers that Floyd was seeing, I'm not as worried if I'm him. Uh, as you can see, the reds do come. And he very smartly sees that uh, setting up that yellow vertically would have dropped a whole bunch of paint on his board. I uh, saw it just in time and is now just kind of setting up for what he needs as Adelito is into his level 11. Uh, Floyd needing some yellow and red to join him and starting to get some of that right now. Yeah, and it, he's got a good horizontal opportunity right here. Just needs the next red to drop down. There it is. And he probably will clean out a fair amount of that garbage with uh, a horizontal yellow, I think, surely. They will probably get right there. And now he's Ooh, got a horizontal yellow. there. Too. Did I say the wrong color? Nope, you're right. Okay. I was just commenting that that double yellow came at a very opportune time as Floyd was uh, running a risk of, of being in some serious danger after that drop. Uh, but it did work out really well for him, put him in an opportune situation. But with 15 viruses behind, he's going to have to really play some lights out Dr. Mario right now if he wants to be able to uh, take a second crown and extend his tournament. 
the thing is, there are a lot of opportunities here for some good two pill takeoffs, a few uh, horizontals as well. Like a, a blue yellow right now would be perfect. Oh, he didn't play it the way I thought he would, but that's still a good way to take a couple of them off there. But yeah, he's going to need a lot of blue, and right there will help out a bit in order to get this board. He's got an almost all blue top line right now. It's never something you want to see. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Adelito down to 11. Uh, he is needing a, quite a bit of red, although still enough color diversity to not be an alarming moment yet. Uh, not sure what I'm seeing from him. I know it's a combo. It's waiting to happen. I'm, I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, it is going to be slower overall than taking everything just straight down. So we'll see if uh, Floyd is going to get himself an opportunity or if uh, Adelito is going to be able to pull this one out. It is now 5-15. to 15. Uh, Floyd has pulled within 10 of the lead here, and considering where he started this level off, that is quite a move. Uh, he is now down to 10 to 3, now 10, 3 to 8. Floyd just dropping things left and right, but at, out at a 7 10, it is going to be Adelito taking the game, taking the match. And uh, GG's to Floyd on a really well fought match. And uh, congratulations to Adelito, who will be going on to tomorrow's semifinal Sunday.